and uh, oh my god, a little bit of a shortcut. That would be uh, jump off ridge out there going around. If you know jump off ridge at all. Well, I do, and and I assume you know this, but for your viewers, we are one of the excitement things. We're I'm getting excited now. My voice is uh, raising. <laughs> This is one of the biggest landslides, maybe the biggest landslide in Washington, right here. Oh, right here? This yeah. This whole thing drops oh, called the I Malaga see. Slide. Okay. And so, oh, jump, yeah, okay. jump Off Ridge is a place that did not go, but everything between Jump Off and on the other side of Wenatchee Heights, yeah. that's why all these lakes exist. This is all blocks that have slid down and screwed up the drainage. Yep, and I could show you, I want to show you, I'm going off course now because I want to show you where there was a slide recently, uh, maybe two years ago. Oh, really? Inside um, the ski resort there, oh, wow. Mission Ridge. Let me see if we can find it. It's, a, oh. it's definitely out of the way, but eh, it's worth, it, worth a shot. Damn, I got, this is impressive. I got full fuel, so we're good. What they're doing around up here is they're starting to clear a lot of land to put cherry orchards up further and further north, oh, and they really? might have cleared this for that. I mean, there's a certain point where you, it's going to get too cold for them. But the further north, the further high, higher up, I should say, right. the higher up the, um, the cherry orchards are, the later they are. I mean, okay. This looks like a slide right here. Oh, totally. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, the, the con not to go back to geology, but no. the, the contrast between what we just saw with that one big drainage with all those smaller streams feeding right. in, and now we cross the divide and we don't have that. I mean, right. we've got a couple guys over here, but that main area is just completely screwed up by that Malaga slide. Oh, here we go. It is. Oh, yeah. like, this is it oh, right yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Well, those basalt lavas, those giant lavas, have so many fractures inside of them, horizontal and vertical fractures. Right. Not, not just the columns, but on a smaller scale, too. They are just wanting to go. They're just wanting it, to slide. It actually took out a couple of the slopes oh, that were in here. Yeah. I'm going, to, I'm going to turn around, and as I go past it, it should come into the camera. Anyway, this is a oh, look at ski that. resort. Yeah, this is just very recently. And I can show you one more play, two more places maybe. God dang, yeah. nice. So that all came down. And then there's, um, we had a lot of rain in the spring, oh gosh, maybe three, four years ago. Okay. And it started affecting a lot of the land around here. And there were a lot of little slides. I'm like, oh, I have to dump a whole bunch of altitude, get down there. And I'll show you one where the earth just literally dropped. It dropped about, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 feet. Wow. So yeah, that's uh, Mission Ridge Road going up to the... Yes. And I didn't realize there was such a big boundary between the basalt lavas and the sandstones here. Okay. Dumpstick formation. Bunch of sandstones yeah. and uh, shales. We, I didn't... Wow. Lots of little... And there's a, there actually is a good example out there, too. Yes. So suddenly the landsliding is not a problem over here because yeah. that bedrock is so different. But I didn't know about that mountain. That's really cool. There's a lot up here. But the thing is, is that, you know, there's limits on the roads. Right. And uh, even with a drone, you can, you know, you'd have to go to a place where you think there might be something and launch yeah. it and take a look. And, and you can never see it through the little picture until uh -huh. you get back. But there's a neat uh, formation there. So you're saying that's sandstone? It is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's, there's real thick deposits of sandstone that continue over towards the Liberty area. Uh-huh. It's not an accident. There's gold mining over in Liberty. Yeah. There's, there I saw was the video, too. Big mine gold, a uh, uh, big operation for gold here at the Cannon Mine. So those are the same sedimentary layers, and then there's some igneous rocks that have come through. Let's see if I can get down low enough to show you this. Yeah. Ah, I, didn't, I don't know this country very well right in here. This is a... This is a Schoolchuck Canyon. There's a creek that comes down through here. Nice. Uh, actually, there was some serious flooding here last week um, wow. on Saturday. Anyway, in here, you see the house with the red roof? Yeah. Uh, behind it, there's an area that's been cleared out. You see some cherry bins sitting down in there? Yeah. That whole piece of land dropped. That used to be a cherry orchard in there, and it just dropped down. It, you know, it's hard to see from this angle. Oh. If you're on the ground, though, you can very oh, clearly wow. see that it dropped. Uh, so that's one place. They had to condemn a couple of those houses. I think the red, one with the red roof is actually condemned oh, right now. Yeah, there's some people that were going to build out there. And, and then there was another slide out here that I, somebody took me to see it. 
because their house was on oh, it. Oh, I remember about this now. Yes, there were some. And I cannot yeah. see it. It was out here somewhere. One of these in here. Uh, these are some of the orchards that you work Yeah, on. I work on the one, the big one back there, uh -huh. and uh, there's one right next to us, and that one there, one up there. Yeah, we, uh, I work with a bunch of pilots. You guys on a Sunday afternoon, they know it's you. They go, oh, that's Maria up there. Yeah. <laughs> the helicopter. So now we're coming down uh, Schoolchuck Canyon, okay. and so you've got these different rocks. We can take a look. The, um, before we start going down the river, we'll take a look at one more thing. Great. Uh, Saddle Rock, you probably want to see. Well, hey, I mean, that's, your timing <laughs> is great. I've just been working on Saddle Rock and trying to learn what I can from the geologists who've been working in the area. And uh -huh. really interesting histories with Saddle Rock and Black Rock and Castle Rock and the Spires and Stimol. Uh, okay. Those, those are not sandstones. They kind of look like it from a this distance. This expires down here. Yeah, now that is sweet. Oh, so, those you can probably see better from the ground. So these are like intrusions, um, either granite or rhyolite or andesite, basically squirts of magma. Okay, and sure. I don't totally understand why the magma came up where it did. That's a gorgeous shot. And then there's uh, mining down in here too. I don't know, but I don't think they mine it anymore. Oh, that you see the hole? That's, I think that's oh. the mine shaft. Oh my God! I don't know what they were mining down there. They well, call this a uh, rooster comb. Okay, well, this, this is definitely this is the the, the, the the gold and silver. They pulled out more than a million dollars worth of gold and silver just in a ten-year span, from yeah. the mid '80s to the mid '90s. Oh my! I, sh I, I should have had you on Friday. I was busting uh, my ass to get up on top of that. Oh. And sweat like crazy. Now this is gorgeous. Thank you, Marie. Yeah, well, I'm going to go around from this side because I think the camera will get it better. And it's definitely a light from the other side. I've done a lot of um, aerial photography with a local production company uh, around here. Uh, but now they use drones. So, <laughs> which I can't blame them because if you can hike up here and those guys, those guys can. Well, there's still debate about the exact age and chemistry of, God, that saddle ride is beautiful. Yeah. And, and the, the tendency is to say, well, it must be related to the Cascade lava somehow, but it's too old. It's too old for that. And so what do you do with these blobs of magma coming up in the Wenatchee area? That's something we're going to be focusing on in okay. the next year or year and a half. I was with a guy from the University of Puget Sound. We collected a bunch of rock samples, and he's going to get them dated and run some chemistry. So um, great timing on that. Good. And you know about the pinnacles up by Pashastin, right? I do. Okay. And that's a different story. Those okay. Are, those are just sandstone. I, they, they look so pinnacle-like like these guys, but yet that's just totally just sandstone kind of standing on end. So that's a different story. Okay, so I'm going to um, hopefully, with the, you guys are not going to bore you guys with long videos, so we're going to cut the video here, and then we're going to go on to the next video, which is going to be uh, going from here all the way down to Vantage. Uh, so cut right now, cut up, there you go. All right, so you gotta tell me where you wanna go. The airport's out there. I don't know if you wanna talk anything about the airport. I do, I'd, I'd like to talk about uh, kind of this whole bar here. Kind okay. of all to Wenatchee. We can start it now or? Yeah, can... sure. Okay. Well, Maria, this is just a great opportunity okay. to see East Wenatchee because this is one of the biggest features of the Ice Age floods. Now, most people think Grand Coulee and Moses Coulee and things like that, but for us in geology, the entire East Wenatchee area is called Pangborn Flood Bar. It's a huge pile of loose rocks that would not be here if it wasn't for an absolutely enormous Ice Age flood, one big flood that came down to Columbia 18,000 years ago. So it deposits, so this is basically just like a shelf of deposited gravel from the flood. It's almost impossible to describe, but let me give it a try. Okay. Underneath this stuff that you see are 600 feet worth of boulders and sand and gravel. And the water was more than a thousand feet high. So I, I think I've heard in some of your videos you're flying at like 1100 yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. And so that is truly the high water mark. Wow. I mean, this is almost impossible, but this if you can imagine a column of water a thousand feet deep going more than 50 miles an hour down this valley, it's taking this left-hand turn, and just like in a river today, you're going to have the slower water on the inside of the curve, uh -huh. faster water on the outside, so you're going to drop all these rocks to make this incredible flood bar, we call it, paint bar.
And it must be pretty, pretty fertile because there's all orchards up here, orchards and vineyards up here. Well, the golf course. The bar itself, not so much, but a bunch of windblown silt has come in. Okay. A bunch of loose. And some, okay. of, some fine grained flood sediments a little bit later did the trick with that. That's a great point. Yeah, I want to uh, show people, though, the way that the land just drops right off oh, here yeah. from this bar. Kind of a slant, a little slope, and then a steep slope. And then there's another bar down here and the river. Good. So on this left side, this is a uh, we're getting kind of a cross-sectional view then of this of these flood this this flood bar. Uh-huh. bar. Right. And if you can imagine all this stuff being dumped in you know a week or less, that's uh, mind blowing. There's even some giant current ripples that I don't know if are going to show up very well. They might show up a little further down there. Yeah, they definitely will show up down by West Bar, for sure. Oh, for West Bar, yes. But even on top of this Pangborn Bar, there are some of these little... Oh, I see what you say. Uh, maybe too it's hard to see with the trees. Right. Uh, I did want to talk a little bit about uh, the other side of um, Jump Off Ridge. Can yeah. we go over there? Yes, All right. absolutely. Because that's where I live. And you want it, to show me your house? Yeah, I can show you my house. And I uh, want to know, um, I mean, just to describe it for people, it's going to be not too good if I'm pointing into the sun, but let's see. We'll see what we can do. We'll do a loop. Um, not that kind of loop. Uh, this kind of loop. People want me to do loops all the time. Uh, um, well, just uh, if I can. Yeah. Uh, this, this is impressive phase. You might go, well, Ice Age floods, I guess, right? You don't usually get these huge walls if you don't, unless you have something catastrophic. Well, there was something catastrophic, but it was this big mallet of slide. Oh, okay. So all this stuff sliding okay. into the river, basically. So um, you're saying that, the, the, so this little platform here, yeah. uh, which is where I live, I live on at the base of these cliffs. There's like a road that comes out, and I'm one of the houses on this road. You're on the tea in the can here? Yeah, and it, right. And it's um, sagebrush and a bunch of grass. And that's the natural vegetation out here. That's actually my house. I'm the first one that you'll see on this side of the road that you can see in there. Oh, the green uh, roof? The green roof, yeah. Nice. So, yeah, it's, yeah, I like it. <laughs> anyway, um, so you're, you're on top of landslide blocks. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. what I wanted to know. Stuff that, that, that the impulse is to say it slid off of jump off. Right. Uh, and it may be true because we're so close to the right. maze, but much, many of the rest of these mountains right. are, are sliding down from Mission Ridge Base. Hey, nice place. Yeah, thank you. Hey, thank you, yeah. I like it. You got your little windsock. Yeah, oh, yeah. All stuff. Yeah, nice. <laughs> do, you, do you land right there? Uh, yeah, I do sometimes. Oh, wow. The uh, local winery is the, the neighborhood my oh, friend my. Elizabeth sells. So wow. yeah, it's uh, but uh, so all these little the reason where you got little hills here. Yes. And then what's interesting about Elizabeth's house? Yeah. And let me just I'll make a wide turn here. I'll go past her place on the way out. I'm officially um, excited. Have I mentioned that? No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean this is this is I can't. Um, yeah. No. Good. Because you get you. to see a lot more of it than you do oh. just going around on the ground. Oh. So um, Elizabeth's house. They yeah. built her house. And apparently they didn't do their homework on the ground very well, and her house uh, started to break in half. It's that house that's sitting there with the brown house, metal. Gosh. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I mean, she's still living in it, but it's got some serious problems, and um, it probably will have to be torn down. Uh, but it's, I'm thinking it's because it's just on one of these sand piles, kind of a, not sand pile, but a... No, we're on this landslide material, yeah, yes, yeah. and I, I, I'm no engineer, but uh, that, uh, not a shock to me, I guess. Yeah. Do you have problems? No, not at all. I'm, I'm tucked in. in. Okay. Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm a pole building. Good. Uh, but none of my other neighbors do either, as far as I know. Good. So... Good. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, because where I am, there's no rocks right under me, but you can huh? see the rock. Uh, oh, yeah. hills there yeah. and it's it's completely different nice so okay we're gonna go continue down uh, the Columbia but well, one last thought with this landslide it's a it's a big mystery why the landslide happened and when it happened it's not crazy to think that that big 18,000 year old flood undercut this basalt and triggered the landslide okay and, and there's no evidence for or against it at this point but we're in the neighborhood of that uh, happening. Oh, what a nice junkyard. Thank you. I know. I don't see that from my house. Wow. And that's a good thing. And I also don't see it. That's Alcoa, which is now closed. Yeah. Lights up like a Christmas tree at night, though. <laughs> so this, I was told that this is the narrow, this is Rock Island. I'm assuming it was named for these rocks. I guess so. Yeah. Um, uh, that's supposedly the most, one of the narrowest parts of the Columbia. 
Must be really deep in there, huh? Picture. 